Hey everyone, on Saturday stream we made this tier list and some people wanted to see it on YouTube as well. It is a bit long but I do give out my thoughts and opinion about every pet in the game so it might be helpful. Also, these are just my opinions and are definitely biased. Don't take them as a definitive state of the game. With all of that being said, enjoy the video. Bye. Okay, so I guess uh, let's start this. Okay, we got the ant first. Tier 1 ant. Honestly, whenever I see an ant uh, in the first few rounds, I always buy it. So, um, it's either A, because the buff is super strong. It's either A or S. Wait. There is another conflict. And A tier because it falls off. Yeah, that's true, but... Um, Honestly, we should rate uh, we should rate the animals uh, relative to their uh, tiers, right? To their to their tier uh, power, because you can't really compare an S ant with a T Rex S or whatever. Maybe the T Rex is not S, but you know what I'm saying. But for tier one, I think this should be S for tier one. Honestly, it does fall off, but uh, that's the that's what happens with all units, man. Eventually. I mean, unless with the tier 6 units, they technically, well, not all of them. Yeah, not all of them. But for tier 1, honestly, if you see an ant, you insta buy it. So I will we'll give it uh, S, but uh, we might bump it lower to A. S for high A? Yeah, it, it would definitely be an A plus, man. Oh, man. We could, wait, can't we? Okay. Okay, so I guess we're gonna would either go A plus or S minus. Mm. Let it uh, let it be on in A plus. Okay, hatching check. This is an interesting unit in the expansion pack. Not sure it, this should be in an alphabetical order. I'm not sure why the hatching check is here behind the behind the badger in front of the ant, but but let's rate it anyway. I haven't played that much with the hatching check. Wait, okay, so I guess. Wait, 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 wait. Super so pets, wiki, and I guess we can. Uh, hatching check, so. Level 1, give plus 5 plus 5 to friend head until end of battle. Level 2, give plus 2 plus plus 2 plus 2 permanently, and level 3, give one friend head 1 XP. So, definitely one of the more interesting units in the game, but. Um, I don't think it holds up that well. Usually you don't really want to upgrade it to level 2. You just want it, it's tier 3 and 1-1. One, one, so usually you just want to get it in uh, whenever you unlock it on round 5 or even round 3 if you get it from a level up. And the plus 5 plus 5 should definitely win you the the, the next 1 or 2 rounds. Because cause, uh, it, it's going to make the friend ahead of him definitely get at least 2 kills. Maybe 3 or 4 kills. So it's pretty good but... It really, it really falls off really fast. Like in in two or three rounds, it uh, it's not good anymore, and you don't really want to upgrade it because it's super slow and the stats are pretty weak. So with that being said, I don't know, maybe a C plus. Yeah, I guess we're gonna change a lot of them after we get some more and we see the relative the positions relative to all of them. Yo, thank you for following everyone. Can I'm not really listening to. B minus. Yeah, we'll let us in and C plus. Yo, thank you for following damn boy Raptor Jesus and X and Xisa. Sorry if I botched that name by the way, but thank you everyone. Yo, hey Sulky. Hey Boombla. Hope you're doing better, Goldie. Oh, it's okay, Goldie. I'm feeling I'm feeling better. Okay, the badger. The badger. Interesting unit. The, the interesting fact about it is yo, speed wobble in PC, thank you for uh, S plus. The badger is cool, but the what do you call it? The disadvantage is pretty bad unless you run a, a faint unit or a monkey or a, yeah or monkey or any other scaling unit. It's not that great, so you basic 
yeah you sacrifice a unit for a big blast which is really powerful but um late game it's not that great because you you would definitely rather just want higher stats on everyone instead of just sacrificing a small unit behind because it can get sniped or uh, stuff like that you, you get screwed up by uh, by chilies with the frontline badger as well because they kill the units behind the badger and then you end up sacrificing the units that you actually want to keep in the fight it's definitely not one of the strongest strats for late game but mid game it's super good with the dx combo as well mm. Gonna give it an A, honestly. Or maybe A+. Plus. Well, if we talk about fun, it's super fun. <laughs> Definitely one of the fun, one of the one of the most fun units because you just love uh, seeing that uh, that blast kill uh, anything in its way. But uh, yeah also pretty good in the back like people were using it uh, until now but uh, i guess people discovered the frontline badger now but definitely still pretty good with the ant in the back it pretty much uh guarantees you a draw i guess almost guarantees not 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 really guarantees 100 percent but the chances are really high yeah i guess we'll leave it in a plus oh the bat the bat okay so this is the this is the bat tier two 1, 2, start a battle, make 1, 2, 3 enemies weak. So, weak is a debuff that makes the opponent take 3 additional damage. But the best thing about the bat is that it replaces the buffs on the enemy team. So if they have garlic or melon, they get replaced by the bat, which is super strong. Well, unfortunately, because it's tier 2, you don't get to replace that many, that many buffs with the weak debuff in the early rounds because people don't have uh, access to garlic and melons that early. But uh, the extra damage is pretty good as well. And uh, if you get it to, to level 2 or 3, you definitely, uh, definitely manage to snipe a couple buffs. So honestly, usually whenever I see it, I buy it because it's, uh, it's just a fun, uh, just a fun unit and a fun mechanic. It, it honestly sucks getting sniped by weakness, so it's a pretty anti-fun uh, ability, but uh, it's pretty strong. I don't know how I would rate it though, I think A-. minus. The thing is, it doesn't really hold up too well into late game without scaling, but the ability is super good late game, just as I said, with replacing the balance and stuff. Yeah, I think A- minus or maybe B+, plus should be okay. Let's leave it in a a minus just cause uh, just for uh, some uh, some bonus personal points because I always love uh, using it and I always buy it. Okay, we got the beaver now. Hmm, definitely not that in impressive. It's pretty good for cycling teams. Like if you run a dog, you just buy it and sell it, and you get a plus two plus two HP. As a fighting unit, it's a 2-2 two, two, tier 1, so it's not horrible, but definitely not desirable. Yo, thank you Snoppy Tuna for the follow. So I guess this should go in... B? I mean, whenever you get it in the first rounds, maybe B-. minus. Whenever you get it in the first rounds, you're like, Yeah, I guess I'll take a beaver, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not the end of the world. And then you can just sell it for some extra HP for your team, even if you don't have a dog or stuff like that. I guess B- minus is a fair, uh, fair rating. Okay, Beal. One, I think this is the only unit that I, the only tier 1 unit that I haven't gotten to level 3 yet. Uh, so wait. Where is it? Beal. It's a... Tier 1, 2, 3, so stats are pretty good. It's shop food, give shop pets plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. So it so it needs food, which means you need to invest gold in it. But uh, I honestly don't really like it that much. Plus 1 HP, you, you, you almost never get it to level 2 unless you get lucky. Because the, uh, the actual ability doesn't help you that much. Beetle is good if you free stuff. That, that's an interesting stride. I haven't done it yet, but I did hear about it a couple of days ago. You just freeze one unit and you keep uh, feeding the beetle and the stats uh, stack on the unit that uh, you keep frozen. The stats aren't bad though. Basically a fish. 
right? So I guess a B minus mm, or or just a B. I think we'll leave it on B. It it can't go in B minus. It should be better than the Beaver, right? I know. I just I I guess I just don't really like it uh, myself. So I guess we'll leave it on B. Okay, Bison. Man, who doesn't love the Bison? Honestly, I mean to be fair, it's it's a pretty snooze strat. Hey, thank you for following Shilwood and Dina. But yeah, Bison is super good. But unfortunately, it's not uh, the most interesting things to go for because you hydrate. No more lemonade. But yeah, you just buy it and it scales uh, right away. I mean, if you do have a level 3 unit. But yeah, you just leave it alone and it's uh, pretty much good to go. But yeah, with that being said, it's definitely super strong. It should go in S, honestly, in my opinion. I, I guess we'll wait for the S+. Because I honestly can't really think of uh, one unit that will go here. So I guess we'll wait. It's definitely at least... Or maybe at least S-. minus. Because um, if you get really late game with uh, with this unit, the big drawback from it is the fact that it doesn't do anything in fight. Like, and that's and that kind of only matters for a super late game when enemies have similar stats on the Bison without it. Uh, like the only good thing about the Bison is that it scales for free and it scales pretty fast because it's uh, tier four, right? So if you already have a tier, uh, level three in your team, this guy gets to high stats before anyone else. So if the game goes into really late rounds, everyone will have big stats, but uh, this guy will not have a, a good ability. He will just be a big mid shield. So he's not that great late game. But I guess we'll leave him in S- minus, and we might bump him higher later on. We'll see what our units go into these tiers, I guess. But yeah, definitely one of my favorites. I like it, I like it. It's a pretty... You def I definitely always go buy some build whenever I get uh, fast level fees in a, in a shop. Bison can make you hold on to a le weak level 3 unit. Yeah, oh wait, yeah, that's actually one more disadvantage. You you need to hold hold on to one more weak unit in your team. But usually that unit should be okay, because with level 3 on it, uh, the stats on it should be okay. But it, it depends what the unit is, because if it's a level 3 horse and you don't have no summons in your team, yeah, that's pretty bad. Okay, Blowfish. Definitely one of, uh, <laughs> one of the most fun units in the game as well, but... Uh, well, the stats are decent, 3-5 for tier 3 are not that bad. If you get it from a level up, the HP is definitely good enough for him to just go in the front and uh, most likely get a snipe with just his base stats. But I like him, he's not that great, but I like him. I usually buy him if I see him early, it's just because he's fun, not because he's strong, but uh, I guess a B minus. I mean, he's okay. His his HP is pretty good. Blowfish Hedgehog is pretty good. Ooh, I don't know about that, but uh, we're not talking about uh, specific strats now. We're just talking about the units as individuals. Honestly, I think his stats are good because he has high HP, and if you get a couple giraffe buffs on him, he's already pretty good to go. And with the Godlike, he does get some snipes in, but the two damage is not that big of a deal, honestly. Unless you go. Versus, uh, are we going to play after the after the tearless man? So unless you go against uh, summon teams, the extra damage is really unlikely to make a difference. So yeah, I guess he goes into B. It's a def definitely an interesting unit and worth using. Oh, Bluebird from the expansion pack. Okay, there it is. Bluebird tier one, a two one, and end of turn give leftmost pet plus one plus one plus two plus three attack. I like it just because it has an interesting ability, honestly. It's uh, It definitely forces you to use a valuable unit in the back of your team just so you stack damage on it. It's pretty good for units that benefit from uh, extra attack like, uh, like high HP units but with low attack. I, a turtle is a good example. One of the best units though is uh, definitely the rooster if you manage to get the uh, bluebird at least to level 2. So the... So the scaling is a little bit faster. It's interesting. I usually pick it up just because it's uh, just because it's uh, something new, I guess. You don't usually there's not there's not that many units with uh, mechanics like this. So personally, I like it, but I don't think it's that strong. Oh shit! I switched to the game, unfortunately. 
Okay, so I think this this goes into C plus, I think. Okay, Mitzi, I can see chat. Please move. Please move. Kitty. Okay, thank you. Okay. This is the buffalo, I think. I keep us keep wait. Okay, yeah, it's the buffalo. Buffalo. It's tier four, five, five, so stats are stats are pretty good. Friend bot gain plus one plus one or plus two two plus three plus three. Honestly, if you if you go for the buffalo in your team and you actually focus on um, on stacking him up, it's a bear dog. Yeah, it is a bear dog, but he's I think he's pretty good. I think he's pretty good. Hydrate. I don't have any more lemonade, unfortunately. That would, oh wait, one more one more small sip. That was the smallest sip ever. But yeah, I, th I think his um, his stats are really good to begin with, and if you actually buy like um, like if you just unlock him on t on t on turn seven, you and he is the first unit you see in the shop. You buy him, and then you can buy two more units, and he's already seven seven, which is definitely decent. I mean, not decent; it's definitely good. So this guy can get uh, big really fast. I I really like him. I think he should go into a minus or maybe B plus. I, I think A minus for now. He's he's a pretty good unit. Camel, okay. Uh, I honestly I love the camel. I love it, but um it doesn't hold up into into late game. And why? Because uh even though you 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 even if you manage to get it to high HP, late game it's probably only gonna survive uh survive a a maximum amount of like three hits even like even if he has 30 hp on round 10 i i guess he it probably survives two hits and dies on a third hit and you only get like level two camel what's that plus four plus six it's not really worth investing the gold on it in it for late game but if you manage to get a good early win streak and you and you think you can uh, close out the game uh, on like turn 12 13 it's definitely worth uh, getting it it can be pretty strong especially if you manage to to scale it up but yeah it definitely needs scaling it doesn't uh, hold uh, hold out on its own i don't know i think a b maybe a b minus a b or b minus i don't think it's lower than a b minus though mm. I guess we'll see. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty undecided about it, but uh, I guess we'll see. Okay, caterpillar. Oh man, there's so many still left to go. Okay, caterpillar. It's definitely one of the. Uh, okay, let's uh, look it up for people that know don't know what it does. Okay, so it it has really tier three, really weak stats, and it gains XP on its own. And at level three, it evolves into a butterfly that copies the. The stats from your uh, biggest unit. So basically, you just buff one unit, get the caterpillars in the back, and eventually they're gonna be as big as your as the as the unit that you that you that you scale the whole game. Yo, Zoti and Chibi Changa, thank you for following, boys. Welcome. Yeah, it's pretty good. The only drawback is that it doesn't do anything in fights, and uh, the stats are really low. But yeah, that's the whole gimmick about uh, the unit. You're meant to play with a really weak unit in your team, and just uh, hope you win and uh, and stay alive until it it reaches uh, butterfly phase. Well, it's definitely pretty good. If you manage to get it to a butterfly, it's uh, it's incredible. So I guess this is an A unit. It's pretty good. It's definitely one of the best for uh, for the late game. Yeah, no discussion about it. I think cat. Ooh. Caterpillar is AD depending on the roles. Yeah, true, but you know, most of the time it's A. If you like, you wouldn't go for a butterfly for a caterpillar if you knew you you are not getting a big unit. So most of the time it's good for you. Cat. Cat is interesting, man. I know some people really hate the cat, but uh, with the recent food buffs and uh, and the food units uh, that got buffs, the cow and the rabbit and stuff like that, even the squirrel. The food build is definitely one of the, the best units in the game. Yeah, its ability is pretty good. The only thing that sucks about it is that it's tier six, and um, 
you can't really use it that often. It doesn't work too often, unfortunately. And you need one slot to replace in your team so late. But yeah, it's definitely pretty good. Just leave it in A. It's, a pretty, it's one of the better support units, that's for sure. Chicken. Oh god. One of my favorite units that I never get to use. Okay. Chicken. Tier 5, 1 2 stats, which is complete trash. But when you buy a tier 1 pet, give current and future shop pets plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 and plus 3 plus 3. So this is, this is the unit that gets your shop units to 50 50. Unfortunately, I think that's super hard to do. Unfortunately, now. Because they nerfed its stats. But uh, if you manage to get a good chicken build going with like... Uh, with the... What, what was it called? What is it? Should be here, right? The, the This guy. The bison. The buffalo. If you get the chicken and this guy. And you just... And this guy benefits from buying units as well. You can actually get a... Decent run with it. I only managed to make it work one time and I got the shops to like 40 40 one time, but um, It's definitely pretty slow and it sucks because it's uh, tier 5 as well, but it can work But uh, most of the time it's complete trash and you and you and if you buy it You manage to only get like one or two buffs from it and then probably just lose out the whole one because you're running a 1-2 unit uh, We're gonna leave it and see just for the extra extra interesting slash fun points because i like it so this is one interesting thing uh so there's this uh in the sap discord there is this tournament tournament chat so this is where uh, people that play tournaments talk about like uh, professional versus players i guess and they were complaining that uh, the chicken is too strong and it's S+, plus, and that's why the devs are actually nerfed it. And they talked about it, and they said that um, we were really undecided if we want to nerf the chicken, because in the regular runs, for the most of the player base that are uh, casual players and stuff like that, it's pretty horrible, but for the tournament players, it's one of the best units, and they're constantly complaining about it. And they actually nerfed it, which is definitely not the way to go, because games shouldn't be balanced uh, around uh, what pro players think. But yeah, okay, on to the next one, Squirrel. Oh man, when I saw the Squirtle buff, I was super excited. I thought this was gonna be one of the most interesting and fun units in the game, but um, I never managed to make it work, man. It uh, The Squirtle being tier 4 is kind of a really big drawback, man, because you, you honestly don't really get to level it up that often. Usually whenever I try to buy it, it usually stays level 1 and then I end up selling it. So... Um, I think it goes in C. D plus maybe because it should be better than the chicken I guess but uh, it just doesn't work out that often and the minus one minus one on level one is not that interesting honestly it needs one more buff maybe it should make all of the foods all of the food in the chat uh, all the food in chat will be not in, I just read chat in, uh, in chat and said chat all the food in the shop uh, be be reduced be discounted not just the first two two food items that you see but yeah it definitely would be busted with uh, the level 3 ability so yeah it definitely needs some changes if that's if that would be its actual ability okay the cow this is without question one of the one of the best units the buffs are incredible and the fact that you don't even have to sell it if you if you if you stick with a food build is definitely is definitely enough to make it at least s minus i don't think it's s plus or s because it's just a support unit and the buffs are not that crazy. But if you are building a food based uh, team, like cow, cat, some more stuff like that, rabbits, worms, seal, it's definitely super exciting to see it. Yeah, it will leave it in as for now. Gotta love that milk, especially that better milk. Okay, crab. It got nerfed, right? Now it, now it only copies uh, the, the max HP. Well... Uh, only the first time you buy it, it used to work like uh, before this. Before this nerf, it used to copy the the highest HP at the end of the round. So now you actually need to buy it again if you if you scaled your other unit to more HP. I guess it's not that great. It has low attack. It definitely needs meat bone in the early rounds and the steak maybe later if you if you're still sticking with one. But yeah, 
it's cool it can work as a fill unit like if you if you don't know what to get and you already have a big unit you can just slap this guy into your team and he's okay yo thank you for the follows everyone thank you thank you thank you hey come up happy to see you man okay c plus b minus well he technically he can be great like a 350 unit pretty bad but not terrible i guess <laughs> nah, let's just leave it in b minus okay cricket another tier one honestly i used to hate the cricket because its stats were so low but as i played more and more i i grew i i've grown onto it man i actually like it now honestly getting a cricket in the back is super valuable for the early rounds so so technically even if it has low stats the the one two body and the one one zombie cricket that's technically a two three on two different bodies so it's not that bad i think it's one of the better tier ones b plus yeah i think that's good for, uh, relative to the other tier ones yeah okay quack okay this is honestly this might be the biggest winner of the of the latest uh, balance update that came out a month ago right this guy got buffed really 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 hard right now he deals eight damage and has eight attack as well so you basically whenever you upgrade the shop and see this guy you sell your weakest unit you buy this guy and he kills one unit with his snipe because usually the the support units with low hp sit in the back and he kills one more unit with his aid attack as well so i think he's actually a pretty good unit i think he's definitely good crocodile is very situational mm, i guess he doesn't really work without uh, more more sniping units but if you if you have one free slot and you need to replace one weak unit the croc is definitely one of the better choices especially when you just unlock them I think this should be at least an A minus unit. It's definitely really bad for uh, plus kill some badges. Definitely, definitely. That's a big plus. So wait, and the level two croc deals 16 damage, man. That that should be enough to kill units in, even in late game. But well, not late late game, like when everyone has 50 50s and stuff like that. But uh, 16 damage, definitely crazy, crazy snipe. A minus or A honestly, I think A. Yeah, pretty good uh, unit. He doesn't need scaling, doesn't need anything else. Just buy him, and he um, and he pretty much kills two units. Oh, the deer, the deer, the one one deer with the bus spawning in. Oh man, so 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 many left, man. Oh god. Okay, we, I should probably try to go through them a little bit faster, right? Okay, the deer. If you get him from a level up he is good enough to win you the round if you get him on round three from a level up he is definitely one of the best level ups you can get he is either tier a or a minus the thing is the bus doesn't hold up too well into into like after three or four rounds the bus is kind of useless it's only uses probably just breaking melons but uh, if if you get it early and not even early from a level up because the, yeah, the early level up deal is completely broken it definitely wins rounds but even if you get it on round seven when he's unlocked in a shop he's still pretty good i usually buy him if i see him a or a minus honestly let's let's no actually he he goes in a he goes in a it's a pretty cool unit as well the natural chili is always fun Dodo. Oh man, I'm so happy this unit is so bad now. I'm so happy. It used to it used to be the the most hated unit in before this patch, man. But yeah, now it sucks. It gives extra attack, but it doesn't give enough attack. Gold dehydrate. Don't have any water with me anymore, unfortunately together. I need to go bring some. And I guess uh, I, wait wait i will i will go soon enough because uh, talking this much definitely makes me thirsty but yeah okay this unit is trash unless you get him really early and manage to get the level two super early and you get a giraffe behind it and you manage to get it to high attack it can work but like 
that's a lot of conditions for just one unit to work and it's not even that great right it used to be amazing with the uh, with the rooster right but not but not even the rooster is good anymore because the checks are now 50 percent attack instead of 100 percent so it's pretty bad it works with the leopard i guess because you get the extra attack on the leopard wherever he is and uh and then the leopard deals extra damage so that that could be interesting but you need to keep a tier 2 in your team until you get the leopard so that's pretty bad yeah, I think he goes in C minus, just so, just because it's our uh, our lowest unit until now. Okay, dog. He got nerfed uh, in the last patch. He's now tier three. Used to be a tier two. Definitely used to be broken on tier two, but now tier three. I think it's a healthy spot for him. I usually don't buy him just because I'm sick of uh, sick of uh, running a dog build, but I think he's a decent unit, especially. Especially if you focus all your gold on buying and selling stuff, he, he can definitely still be viable. So with that being said, I think A- minus or B+, plus. let's just leave him in B+, because his uh, default stats are, uh, are kind of bad. And, you, and there's actually that uh, RNG factor, right? Because he doesn't get plus one, plus one, he just gets a random plus one either to his HP or attack. So that can actually go pretty bad sometimes i i've had the runs where i had a super high attack uh, dog and and that died in one shot right and i had runs uh, with the opposite really tanky dogs that didn't kill anything so that's uh, that's definitely a minus for him dolphin pretty good unit but uh, it falls off really fast because five damage is not uh is not good enough to to kill units uh into mid game i guess but he's okay most of the time because he he snipes the lowest hp unit so it's not that bad it's he's definitely a counter to the scorpion if if it doesn't have a one up unfortunately it kills a kangaroo before it gets uh before it gets its high stats it kills the the sniping units uh, core units not the snipe the summon units core units i guess uh, the turkeys and the flies and i guess the fly doesn't really die anymore to it but it kills the, the turkey which is pretty insane but yeah most of the time he's not that impressive because um, him killing the lowest hp unit doesn't help you that much because uh, like if the opponent runs a one two monkey that one two monkey snipe is not gonna make that much of a difference but he's a decent unit to get if you don't really know what else to get. A B minus, just because uh, it's a sniping unit, it's pretty fun, and it can actually counter the scorpions. And wait, it can actually counter the the caterpillars before they transform. No, they transform into the butterfly as a one one, and then the dolphin can snipe it before it compies. So that's pretty good. Definitely interesting to run in expansion pack, even though no one uses. No one uses it in the expansion pack because it's a standard pack unit. Okay, the dragon, tier 6 in standard pack. I think this goes into S, man. It doesn't work that often just because it's tier 6 and most of the time you... You don't have enough HP to focus on the dragon. But if you do have uh, at least 4 HP so you can... Uh, so you can survive one defeat. This guy is good enough to... I mean, this is the main unit that gets you to high... Uh, high stats in late game right all good teams have a dragon in their team late game yeah it's definitely yes especially if you get it to level 2 it's pretty nuts the only thing that sucks about it is not being able to use the fifth unit right the the unit that is supposed to buff your team but it's okay because you can just like buy two or three of them and uh, for your last unit instead of buying one more tier one you can just buy the best unit that you see in the shop like you can just get a scorpion or a sniping unit for some uh, melon snipes i guess yeah definitely one of the best units oh drama dairy what is this man okay tier two two four start of turn give shop pets plus one plus two plus three uh so it's a pretty interesting unit, I'd say, but um, I mean, the stats are okay. It, it hits twice, probably, with it being tier 2, but uh, wait, one there's one thing that you can do with the dromedary. You can, you can freeze a unit and keep buffing it over and over again, the frozen unit, because it keeps uh, staying in the shop. Yeah, but I, I have, I, I've actually never done that, because I don't really want to keep a unit frozen for that long but um 
Hmm, it's interesting, I guess. Not that great. C. It goes in C. The duck. It used to be OP, now it's trash, no one buys it. Really shitty stats for fighting, really shitty ability. The eagle. Oh man, eagle is definitely one of my favorites in expansion pack. Wait, let's see, let's see. Yo, thank you everyone for following, by the way. Bowen S, Devilock, and Scat Cat. Thank you. Okay, where's the eagle? It's tier 5. Okay, tier 5, 6, 5, and faint someone 1 level level 1, 2, or 3, tier 6 pet. It's definitely interesting. It works really well with mushrooms. It's pretty good in, in a micro build. And um, you can actually get super lucky and use a pill on it and get a good tier 6 pet uh, like uh, even 4 rounds uh, earlier, right? Because if you get the eagle from a level up, you get it on round 5, I think. No, you get it on round you can get it on round seven, use a pill on it and get a T-Bex or something like that. And that actually happened to me yesterday. I used the <laughs> pill on the eagle and we got the a T Bex. So yeah, it, it's interesting. It's not that in, it's not that incredible because the the fan ability definitely falls off because the, the default stats on the tier sixes are not that great. But it's cool. It's cool. I think I'll give it a B minus. Or a B. Hmm. I will leave it on B. Yo, it's Cat Cat. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one of the most fun fun units in expansion pack. Even though it's not that interesting. Just spawns another pet, I guess. Just a better spider. Okay, elephant. This is one of the, this is one of the units that uh, you see in the shop when you're first starting out, and you're like, wait. The synergy, the the elephant, the camel, the blowfish. Holy shit! I just discovered the the best strat ever but unfortunately it falls off so quickly it falls off so quickly because the two damage uh, from the blowfish and the plus two plus one from the camel are not good enough to to hold out until mid game unfortunately well i guess no, in the mid game they they can be okay but you need to get a lot of stats on the elephant and honestly one of the one of the most annoying things about the elephant is the fact that if you level it up it hits more units like yeah it's pretty good because you can get more hurt hurt units behind it but most of the time you only have like one and if you actually want to focus on scaling the elephant and getting him to 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 a higher level just for the stats getting him to level two might actually be a disadvantage right because you just hit uh, units that don't benefit from being hit but yeah, it's definitely an interesting unit and i think it's okay it's a pretty good unit uh, for uh, for new players, right? Because they uh, they can start. Uh, it's one of the first synergies that new players see, and I, and I like that. I like that. We definitely need uh, some easier synergies as well, right? Not just uh, use pill in front of the axe and get the axe in behind the the badger, and then the badger removes the melon, but he gets the melon again. Yeah, we we need uh, easier stuff as well in the game. And the stats are actually pretty decent, definitely the best stat-wise uh, tier 2, right? But yeah, he's situational, I guess, with his uh, ability. C+, plus. Mm, C+, plus, I guess. Hey, WP. You are rambling. <laughs> so many thoughts in my head, I guess. Okay, fish, definitely one of the best uh, tier 1s, and its ability is pretty crazy, but no no ability in fight, it's kind of bad, but the stats make up for it, okay. It's a, it's an A unit, I think, the main goal. It's interesting, and it's definitely second best, I'd say, used for a pill, the best might be the turtle. A 3-1, when you unlock it on tier 2, it's definitely enough uh, to to kill one unit if you place it in front. And the buffs are actually pretty good. I think this is a, a decent B unit. I like it. The fly, ooh. Honestly, I really love the fly now after the after the change. You don't actually need to go for a, for a summon build for, to use a fly anymore. So the stats are actually pretty good. You just buy... Uh, the default fly and you get 15 15 worth of zombie flies that's actually pretty good and level 2 they double 30 30 so i think it's a pretty strong unit because um it can uh, the flies can kill melons i mean not kill but destroy melons they can sometimes tank the badger shots because people really use badgers in front now so that's pretty good yeah i honestly i, I like the fly i like it a minus 
giraffe. 2, 5 with a plus 1, plus 1. Okay, the only thing that I don't like about the giraffe is the fact that uh, it buffs 2 and 3 units on the high levels instead of buffing the same unit for, uh, for plus 2, plus 2, right? So, um, but yeah, I, I, I like it. I like it at the same time because it's because uh, it's just a, a more unique uh, support unit, I guess. But um, I usually take it if I see one. I usually take it just so I can buff a unit. You just if you if you actually want to keep a giraffe, you just use a meat bone on it, right? And then, and then it's uh, and then it's okay because it kills a unit, so it's not that bad. I think it goes in B plus. Go thank you. <laughs> I've only used the gov like once or twice, but I know it can work in some teams. Okay, goat is goated. Tier 5, 4, 6, friend bot, gain 1, 2, or 3 gold. So, this is definitely a support unit for the, for the chicken and this guy that gets stats when you buy him. So, it's definitely interesting. You, you probably never managed to get it to level 3. And the, the sucky thing about it is that you don't really want it to get it to high level unless you get really lucky and get two goats or three goats in the same shop and then you might actually want to level it up. But yeah, most of the time you don't want to level it up just because you would rather spend your money on buying the units instead of combining uh, the goats because you don't get anything when you combine goats unless you level it up and then you, and then you use the goats ability for like a couple more rounds just so you can make up for the gold you lost by combining the the goats yeah it's it's interesting but it only works for uh for the chicken or this guy mm. Mm. c plus gorilla oh one of the most underrated units man but the thing is it's actually not that underrated because it's a tier six that that definitely needs stats it's not good with the default stats but the, the coconut shield man is definitely one of the best abilities in the game man. And you can actually get it in the shopping phase as well permanently if you build a hedgehog or, a, or, or even a badger. If you get a badger with default stats from the shop and just use a pill on it, he gets the melon and uh, the coconut and that's super valuable. Like, uh, if you have a full team of uh, gorillas, that's <laughs> like in the super super late game when everyone is... Uh, is uh, just up to 50 50 and stuff like that the gorilla definitely survives one hit if he has high stats and then with the coconut shield he gets a kill for free so it's definitely one of the better carries but it definitely relies on getting uh, a lot of stats which sucks because he's tier 6 and you don't really have time to scale him yeah the only time i made this work was when i already had the level 2 monkey and we managed to get some high stats on it really quickly with that being said if you don't get stats on it it's pretty trash it usually doesn't survive uh, to get the coconut shield b minus or actually b mm. i would give it b just because i like it mm, b minus hedgehog okay first you check mm. hedgehog is interesting definitely amazing for uh for the blowfish yes <laughs> but otherwise kind of sucky Someone actually told me you can use a rat and the hedgehog behind it so you can kill the dirty rat. But yeah, I wouldn't really, I, I don't, I don't ever buy it unless I have really high HP. I mean, higher than usual HP on, on, uh, in the early rounds. So yeah, otherwise I don't even think about it. It, uh, the risks outweigh the rewards, unfortunately. So. C plus. C. Mm, leave it in C for now. Hippo. Tier 4 that needs that. Most of the time it's kind of too late for the for the hippo unfortunately. But if you manage to get some good stats on it, it can work. Most of the time if you buy the hippo, he usually dies. He usually dies at the same time with uh, with the with the unit that it kills, right? So it doesn't even manage to use its ability. But I think I think most of the time if you actually commit to a hippo, you can get decent enough stats. I think he goes into A minus. Just because his ability doesn't do anything if you actually don't kill anything. But uh, yeah, you probably all know how uh, snowbally he can be. He just gets one or two kills and then he kills the rest of the team. The garlic is definitely amazing on him. 
holds one of the well not one of the but it's definitely at the bottom of the two ones in the starting pack it's pretty good but it's only good if you kind of if you have if you either have a shit ton of summons in your team like two or three crickets or if you just have it to level two and get some honeys uh, b minus kangaroo one two stats kind of trash but um it definitely can work it can be a solid unit. it can even hold up into mid or even late game if you get uh if you get it to level two or three and you have a decent unit in front of him honestly the easiest way to play the kangaroo early game is to just use a spider in front of him because the spider gives him one buff and the uh, and the summon unit gives him one more buff and if you get lucky to get a melon a turtle or, or a sheep that gives him even one more buff he is super uh, super strong and and yeah with those two buffs from the from like from the regular summons not not a sheep or a turtle he he gets to 6-6 six, six, so that's pretty good it definitely it's definitely pretty good for uh for its tier right i think he goes in b the only thing that sucks about him is the fact that uh he has really low base stats he just uh he just got nerfed ladybug okay let's see Tier 1, 1, 3, food bot, game plus 1, plus 1, plus 2, plus 2, plus 3, plus 3, until end of battle. This is definitely one of the units that uh, that you need to win with super early, right? You need to get a win. If you focus on the ladybug, like if you want to get the level 3 ladybug win, you need to win on like round 12 or 13. Because it's not going to hold up uh, uh, later than that. It's interesting because you, you just... Uh, you just buy apples and stuff and it and it just gets uh, rolling with stats right but yeah this ability means you need to invest uh, a lot of money into food i guess like every round but it's interesting it's definitely a pretty interesting isn't ladybug a, wor a worse worm kind of kind of but it's tier one and it can uh, it can definitely win you if you actually buy food for it it can definitely win you the early game rounds pretty easily with the extra stats I like it as a tier one, and if and if you get a a blue bird in your team that get that uh, can give it a permanent attack, it's even better, right? A C plus, I think, should be fair for it. Just because if you don't invest in it, it's complete trash. Leopard man, oh, this is definitely one of the most fun and uh, one of the best tier six in standard pack, right? But the problem is at level one and with no scaling, it kind of sucks. So it, it needs at least level 2 to be viable and at least like, I don't know, at least like 25 damage or even more than that. So it's pretty, pretty situational I guess. But if you manage to get it going, it's definitely one of the strongest tier 6s. A- should be fair or maybe even B+. Plus, just because it's super rare to get it to, super rare to make it work. Okay, Lama. Oh god. This is definitely an interesting unit. So, end turn, if you have 4 pets or less, it gains stats permanently. And it's tier 4, 3, 6. It's definitely interesting and it can work, but it can only work if the other 3, three remaining units in your team are strong enough to make up for the fact that you only have 4 units instead of 5. So usually the way I play the Llama is um, I buy the Llama, I sell my weakest unit only if I think I can win it with those 4 units of course and uh, I just buff it for uh, like 2 or 3 rounds and then I just get another unit because uh, you can't really win with 4 units for more than 2 or 3 rounds after you buy it. So yeah, and then you, you keep the Llama until its stats are not good anymore and you just replace it with a late game unit. It's decent, but it doesn't work that often unfortunately. And you definitely never manage to get it to level 2 or even 3. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do this for the achievement at some point. But yeah, with that being said, B-. Lobster, oh god. <laughs> okay, Lobster. Tier 4, right? Tier 4, 4, 5, friend summon, give it plus 2, plus 2, plus 4, plus 4, plus 6, plus 6. If not in battle, so only in the shopping phase. Well, it's pretty horrible. S plus? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was actually thinking S plus plus. 
but uh, if you manage to get it from a level up, like on turn uh, 3, right? No, turn 5. Oh man, why I always get these these things mixed up in my head. So this is tier no. Okay, on turn five. If you get it early from a from a level up on turn five, it can actually be okay because its stats are decent on turn five from the level up. And uh, and this buff on level one is actually good enough. I've actually used it like yesterday, I think, or two days ago. Oh, wait, no, yesterday I was sick. Two days ago. Uh, yeah, I used it two days ago when I got it from a level up, and it actually kind of... Uh... Wait, no, it's in today's video with uh, with the level 3 T-Rex. Oh shit, I forgot. Yeah, you can actually see it working in that video for a couple rounds. Actually... I think it's C. C. I think it's only good if you get it from a level up. If you get it on turn 7, it's not good anymore. But yeah, I think C. Could go even C+, man. Okay, and we're just gonna we're gonna make some changes at the end real fast because like I already see this guy should be at least B minus. Okay, mammoth. Mm, interesting. I really like the ability and the idea behind it, but uh, the wait. Let's actually see the exact. Okay, three ten plus two plus four plus six, but it's tier six, and the plus two plus two on turn eleven on turn 11 fighting uh, fighting rounds is not gonna make a difference unless you get it to at least level 2 and get a 1 up on it or a tiger behind it and of course best case scenario is level 3 mammoth with a 1 up and a level 3 tiger behind it and that's definitely gonna be a video on youtube at some point hopefully if i manage to get lucky and get this combo going i will uh, definitely post it but uh, unless you get really lucky and go for that the level 1 mammoth is Unless you get it from an early level up, I guess, then the stats are decent and do hold up, but post round 11, it's not good anymore. The stats are too low. B minus. It's interesting. I just like the, the mammoth as well, as, a, as an animal. RIP to my homie, mammoth. Okay, microbe. Okay, let's just uh, search for it for people that don't know about the microbe. So, tier 4, a 1-1, one, one, and when it dies, it makes all pets weak. So, basically, it re oh, shit. So basically it replaces all the buffs and and, uh, and stuff like that. Like, it replaces all garlics and, uh, and melons, and it makes everyone weak. It might sound trash, but um, there is only one build that works with it, and that is microbe and then turtle behind it and you actually get melons on your team while the while the enemies only have weakness even if they had melons so unless they run their own turtles you pretty much win honestly it's a pretty strong combo but you do sacrifice one unit one unit slot to have this one one that uh that only applies the debuff i guess and it might actually wait no never mind i i, I was about to say it might actually break a melon but it would it would have gotten replaced anyway okay with that being said it's only use is that one specific build, but that build is pretty strong. B. I like the build. Monkey, definitely the best support. Well, mm, okay, one of the best. Uh, maybe B minus. Or maybe C plus. Oh shit. It's too specific, man. It's It completely sucks if you don't run a turtle build. A micro turtle build. C plus, okay. <laughs> Okay, monkey, 1, 2, and a plus 2, plus 4, plus 6. No, no, wait, it got buffed. Plus 3, plus 6, plus 9. So, level 2 monkey is already nuts. I think this is definitely one of the best support units. A plus. A plus in my mind. Mosquito. Whenever I see him, I buy him. I just like to snipe. And actually, with, with this new buff, he is actually one of, uh, one of the only tier ones that can... Uh, that can hold up into late game because he breaks melons, right? Right? He he snipes three units for one damage instead of uh, instead of sniping one unit for three damage now. So I like him. He's one of definitely one of the best units uh, to to keep uh, in your team for a bison, right? If you go for a level three mosquito and a bison, you are pretty good. Uh, you are in a pretty good position. I think he's a mm, yeah, or maybe a minus. Because this, wait, actually, the did you already do versus? Yes, but we're gonna do versus after this tier list as well. 
So yeah, I think he's A minus just because uh, it can actually hurt you as well. It can hit uh, camels, blowfish, peacocks. Yeah, it can, it can suck sometimes. Octopus. Oh shit. Here's the big boy. Okay, honestly, this still is taking a whole lot longer than I expected, but oh shit, there's still a decent amount of units to go through. Oh my god. Okay, I'll try to make it a little bit faster. Okay, 6, uh, 2, 6, 8, 8, level up, gain plus A plus 8. Level up, gain plus A plus 8, and a new ability. Before attacking, deal 5 damage to all enemies. Yep. Hey, thank you, Illuminati. <laughs> yep, it's actually pretty good. But the thing is, it definitely... You only get the octopus if you have enough HP and think you're gonna go late game enough to get this this guy oh shit to get this guy at least to level two so his stats hold up and if you manage to get to level three you're pretty much good to go I guess it's a pretty strong unit A minus I think maybe even A A minus now you usually don't get it to level three A minus other oh shit I definitely buy this guy whenever I see him his stats are pretty bad but its ability is pretty good especially if you have a fish in your team and just get the fish to 3-4 which definitely kills two units b plus or even a minus b plus for now owl oh shit i think this is a tier 3 5 3 wait what okay tier 3 5 3 sell when when you sell it give a random friend plus 2 plus 2 and of course you're never gonna get it to level 2 let's be honest because you're just gonna sell them right away so Plus two, plus two. It's not bad. It's tier three. The worst thing about this is you pretty much get uh, get trolled if you get it from a level up, right? If you if you get a level up on turn three and you get uh, the owl, you're like, oh come on, man. I mean, the stats are okay, so it's not the most horrible you need to get. But the three, the fact that it has three HP means that it probably dies in one shot. Hmm. And it, and it needs to be sold right away, probably. I I think it's okay, but it's just not worth buying, man. I would rather just roll three times to look for some more level ups or better units, honestly. C+. Plus. Okay, yeah. Ox. Okay, I was really underestimating this unit when I started playing. But now it, I realize that it's actually super strong. It might be the strongest mid-game unit. Yeah, the melon is super strong and he actually most of the time kills two units. Early next is very good, yup. And uh, if you have faint units like the ant or the or the flamingo that you need to use the pill on, might as well use it in front of the axe and he gets plus two attack. And the melon he would have gotten it anyway. I think this guy is a parrot. Oh honestly, this is one of my uh my my favorite units, man. It's super fun. I And I mean, just the fact that it's super versatile and you can pretty much use it in so many builds. Like, you can even use it in a summon build behind a turkey or even behind the sheep to get some more summons. It depends, I guess, on the situation. You can use it behind the, uh, a croc in a sniping unit. You can use it behind the deer. You can use it behind an ox. Yeah, you can use it uh, in super many situations, honestly. I like it. If I see an, a parrot, whenever I unlock him, I usually buy it. I don't like his stats, 6 3, he usually dies in one shot. But uh, I just like it. I just like it. It's one of my personal favorites. And my favorite combo is definitely Axe Deal, just so I get uh, I can spam the enemy with, uh, with at least two bosses. <laughs> I think it's B. I like it. I like the parrot. And look at him. He's cute, right? <laughs> Peacock. Oh, God. This guy pretty much sucks. He usually hits one time for one damage and then he dies again. And then he dies. He usually kills one unit, but eh, I guess he can be okay if he gets sniped once by a mosquito, which is not that unlikely. Mm. Let's see. Penguin. No way, B. Okay, Penguin. I like I like the penguin just because I like penguins in general, but uh, its ability is nice. It buffs le uh, level two and level three units, which is super cool if you get uh, if you get what uh, what are they called? If you get the early units, like um, if you already have two or three. No, if you have okay, let's say at least two or three units that are already level two, and you just slap a penguin in your team. Uh, 
you pretty much uh, win the game if you keep the penguin because you just have so much time to get uh, those stats going. Yeah, I like him. Unfortunately, he is a 1 2, so pretty much a dead unit in fighting, but uh, the stats should hold up. Yeah. The, the dream is having everyone to at least level 2. Hmm. I think B. B solid. Pig. Honestly, I like. I really like the fact that they changed the pig and they made him uh, as a glass cannon unit because we didn't have that for T ones. I like the pig as a, as an animal just because uh, he's pink and uh, he resembles a piggy bank. He gives you extra gold, right? Yeah, he kills a unit, but he's too vulnerable to snipes, and he he might actually like if he goes up against the cricket. That's horrible. You just he just dies and. He, the enemy has a zombie cricket as well. Yeah, worst case, he gets sniped by mosquitoes. I think C. Whoa. Oh, God. I, I I agree with the latest nerf on the pool. It used to be tier 4, so you had such a long time to scale. And uh, But now, they nerf his stats as well, and he's tier 5. So let's see. End of turn, give plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 to one pet of each tier. So I love the mechanic, but um, you get it so late that you actually don't really get many chances to use it yo we got we reached final goal holy shit yo thank you everyone thank you new people thank you everyone for the followers kudos thank you thank you thank you let's go 12k i wish that was 12k <laughs> one day though hey i was 1200 hey thank you so much and thank you everyone for uh, following guy because i uh i didn't uh I didn't acknowledge the, the follows while i was uh, doing this just because it's super long and i actually thought this would take like uh I actually thought this would take like 20 minutes, but it's already been 70, so I, I'm trying to close it out as fast as I can, honestly. Yeah, the buffs can be nice, and I like the mechanic because it uh, forces you to use different tiers, and that's pretty cool. But the stats are really weak, and you see it super late. So, so B minus. Puppy. Oh, man. Miss me with the puppy, man. I'm so happy it got nerfed, but uh, it's it can still work unfortunately it's a 1-1 one, one now and okay if you end your turn with three or more gold it gains that so basically you don't know <laughs> um okay i shouldn't say that because it's pretty mean but uh you don't know what else to play i would have said uh you don't know uh you don't really know how to play the game you just slap a pop in your team you don't use your gold less interactivity less fun and the property just wins you the the rounds man but yeah but, but even with how much I hate it, even though uh, I even hate seeing it, I don't even like its sprite. Should have been a cuter, cuter puppy. It's definitely decently strong, even now. A minus. Rabbit. Honestly, one of my new favorite units. Tier 3, 3 2 stats, not that great, but the fact that it can buff itself now can make it uh, worth uh, keeping in your team for the. Uh, for a decent amount of rounds if you go for a foot build this is definitely one of the best units to get at least in the mid game i like it personal favorite honestly b no actually b minus b minus because even if it can buff his own hp he still kind of sucks because with free attack it doesn't kill anything mid points decent but okay the whole whole ideology behind the rat Goldie boy, where's the boy? Yeah, we'll just, I'll just talk about it in the end. Don't worry about it. Yeah, the whole idea behind the the rat is the fact that, uh, so, <laughs> more, okay, <laughs> okay. So, the idea behind the rat is he has the highest stats in tier two, so he's supposed to be a strong unit, but he has a downside ability. But the devs didn't make him strong enough, so he pretty much. It's kind of the worst unit in the game, I guess. The Dirty Rat losing you just one round sucks too much. It, it, no, you, you, you don't want, I mean, what is this? Let's see what, like, okay, it has one more attack than the Elephant, and the Dirty Rat can lose you HP. The plus one attack is never gonna be worth it, man, never. So, yeah, don't buy this pet, never. Don't, don't do it, just don't do it. Why no? Ooh. I like him. Honestly, I like the Rhino just because you can, uh, just because you can chain his uh, his ability, right? You can just keep on killing and killing and killing, and then you can even uh, 
make hip make the hippo attack only once and then kill the rest of the enemy team with his ability but that's super unlikely to happen unless you have the level 2 rhino which is not that crazy to get and the enemy team is running a summon build which has low hp but yeah the dream is level 3 rhino with at least a level 2 tiger behind it but yeah i like the rhino but it needs uh, it needs uh, scaling it's not good on its own B plus or B? Leave it on B plus for now. Okay, Rus, right? It sucks now. Unless you manage to to get some really good scaling on him before the before his stats are uh, not relevant anymore, I guess. Yeah, he sucks, man. I you usually you don't want to bother with this guy, but he's uh, he's amazing in the versus, right? Because late game the the Usually in versus you get to super late rounds and if you manage to get this guy to level 3 with 50-50 stats or at least I don't know at least like 30 attack the extra checks will make will definitely make a difference at least they break a melon and they might kill one more unit because if you think about it 50, 50 damage on the rooster level 3 that's 3 checks with 25 damage so I guess he can go in C plus maybe just for the versus uh, thingy sauropod oh shit Okay, sauropod. Tier 6 for 12. When you buy food, you gain gold, but only 3 times per turn. Interesting, but who is who is gonna use this unit, man? Like, who is gonna use this unit? I think it's pretty bad, but it can work, because it's basically free food if you get it to level 3, but it's tier 6, so you're probably only ever gonna get it once to level 3. Nah, I don't, I don't, I just don't like it, but wait, I need to... I need to show you something. What was what was possible in uh, in the early stages of this game? Okay, let me see. Hmm, SAP best team, and let me just type in Sauropod or something like that. Okay, binding the gym team and super Hour pets. Okay, watch this. 8 August 2021. So basically, a random game. He gets sau a Sauropod. I don't know how he got these kind of stats, but uh, it doesn't matter. So okay, he he gets he just uh, he just gets gold, and he looks for some more sauropods. Uh, level three swan for extra gold. Okay, okay, three sauropods now. So I think now he okay. There's bananas. I have no idea what they do, but it doesn't matter. So now look, he, eleven gold, buys the chocolate. Would you buy it, please? Okay, it. Okay, the thing is, this means inf infinite gold, but it doesn't work anymore. Okay, five sauropods. Okay, I guess it worked with only five. Okay, so now he gains gold, and with with this uh, thing going, he actually makes a profit every time he buys food. And look at the gold. Look at the gold. Yep. And now he just has enough gold to buy anything he wants. And there, there he goes. Le full team of level three leopards. Yeah, but this this doesn't work anymore. That's why it got nerfed. And it's round 15, by the way. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it's definitely interesting. Okay, Scorpion. Yeah, definitely. You just buy this guy. He's super good. Ass. And, and now with the new Mushroom tech that just got discovered, he's definitely, definitely one of the best units. Like, just... And imagine if you manage to get him to high stats. He kills one unit when he has a 1-up. He dies, respawns with the poison, and kills one more big unit. The new mushroom tech? Yeah, if you use the mushroom on the scorpion, he respawns with his poison on. So, even if the scorpion is a 1-1 one -one with the mushroom, he breaks a melon, he respawns with uh, the, the the poison, and then he kills the unit. Pretty good. Seal? Definitely one of the most underrated, uh, one of the most underrated uh, units in the game. I love him. Honestly, I love it. He's cute. He buffs the team all around. He makes everyone happy. A minus in my eyes. Oh no, B B plus in my eyes. <laughs> okay, shark. I like the idea of the shark, man. Honestly, I, I love I love the the mechanic and the animal as a unit. And his uh, ability is really fitting to the actual animal. But he's not good enough, man. What is, what are his default stats? Four four. Yeah, four four for for tiers tier five. It's it's pretty bad. And, he, and the fact that you need to keep him in the back 
it just doesn't hold up because usually the first three or four units in front of your team and uh assuming you focus on the shrike and buy summon units like the like this usually the shrike is not able to finish the jab and kill so many units that are left but i guess he works if you just slap him in if you have a if you have one free slot and you don't really care about extra summon units extra extra stats on this guy i guess he can work like if he is last he gets two so that would be a plus eight plus four so 12 eight for 25 yeah not that bad i guess yeah he's usually not that good anyway and the 8 hp pretty much means he dies in one shot i think a c plus should be or maybe a b minus just because he could be so great but he just doesn't live up to to the expectations i guess sheep if you get this on a, from a level up on turn three you pretty much win because it's six six for the stats on turn three it's pretty good i like it it's one of the better summon units as well because it has two summons right so the turkey can buff it uh, twice so that's double the value i like i like the sheep it's a pretty decent unit you can even use it outside the summon build but not not for too long i think b should be a, a good uh, tier for it shrimp okay honestly i gave the shrimp so many tries i even tried I had one run where I got an early level 2 shrimp and I kept it until the end of the game and kept selling stuff but it just not, it's just not good enough. Even if you get it to level 2 super fast and you get a lot of buffs from it, you just, no, you, you, it's not good, it's not good, just trust me on this, but you probably already know, even if you really get a lot of value from it, even then it's not good. C+, plus. hey the Papa Buoys, but they're so quiet, oh my homie say it's comfy. Yeah, true crafter, skunk. Not sure if this is underrated or not, because people are picking up on it. Level 3 skunk is definitely crazy. Gets a, gets 1 unit to 1 HP, but most of the time you get you get it to level 2. And it's and it's pretty good, because um, mid to early late game, I would say, the enemies only have one tanky unit. And the skunk pretty much uh, makes uh, his whole team squishy, right? Because he makes the, the only big unit really really low on hp and then you can pretty much win the round with with this guy's ability he's super strong at least a honestly okay snail pretty good but sucks that uh that he doesn't do anything if you don't lose and uh, as you guys probably know you can't lose that many times in uh, one run so unless you get lucky and uh, you lose and then see a snail pretty much doesn't do anything else I mean, I guess you can free snails. That's a that's a thing, but it sucks keeping multiple snails frozen. But if you actually do lose, then that's a big power spike. And it's pretty good anyway. The stats all around on the, on four units are pretty good. A minus, I'd say. Snake, definitely pretty good and really really fun. Why is TTS off? Yeah, I'll really find you WP. Don't worry about it, man. Okay, so snake. Hmm, it definitely needs a tank unit or at least a unit that summons another unit so he gets at least two snipes. Level 2 snake is super strong, level 1 not so, but can still work. Personal favorite as well, A- I'd say, maybe even B+. Plus. Hmm, A-, minus. cause he can hold up late game if you level, if you level him up. Okay, spider. Interesting, and honestly, I hate the LNG factor behind it. I really do, because uh, now they actually changed it. So instead of spawning a, a bigger some a bigger uh, unit when you level him up, he actually spawns a level two unit with the same stats on level three. So that's only beneficial to the the turtle or the sheep. So the devs actually made a really unhealthy change. Because why would they do that? right the safer bet would have been just to keep the bigger stats on everyone instead of making the spider uh, spider's ability benefit to only two out of eight units but it's a pretty interesting unit it, it's good for the kangaroo and i guess that's it it's okay with the horse mm. b minus maybe or b b minus one definitely one of the best units that is super underrated because you don't actually see the 
will actually see the unit having a impact right on screen but the extra gold is super nice the level 2 swan is definitely super strong and if you even get it to level 3 that's one free food item or unit per round man yeah and the stats are decent okay let's see i think a minus right we'd even, we'd even go for an a Okay, T-Rex. Oh god, I, I love the T-Rex. Today's a star uh, on, on YouTube, right? Okay, wait, it's Tyrannosaurus, I think. Tier 6, 9, 4. And if you have 3 or more gold, all pets gain plus 2, plus 1. Pretty good. Pretty good. What is he wearing? A banana suit. So yeah, this is definitely one of the best scalers for late game. And he easily goes into S-, I think. Kinda sucks that you need to keep 3 gold every time, but late game you don't actually care too much about it because uh, you pretty much have everything set up, right? You, you are probably not looking for so many level ups anymore, you already probably have melons and stuff, so keeping 3 gold is not that big of a handicap compared to the puppy, because uh, along the course of the game keeping 3 gold not used for Gold Knight use with the puppy actually adds up along the game, so kind of sucks. Okay, there we go. Okay, one of the worst units, definitely. There we go. Tier 2, 5, 3. So the stats are nice. When you give it shop food, it gives everyone plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus three attack, but for only one round. I think I used the Tabby Cat. Bash to check. If you use the Tabby Cat for like one or two rounds, it can work. I actually used it. Uh, I think you should check Discord. Wait, is is it actually important? Okay, I guess I'll check it real quick. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you can use it for one or two rounds, but uh, anything more than that kind of sucks. But I think I think I actually used it in today's video one time, so mm, it, it can work. But it's super hard to make to make it work, unfortunately. I I don't like it that much. I think everyone agrees this is a pretty weak unit. No, lower than this. See. The stats are nice. C plus. Mm, okay. How long do you think you're gonna be streaming for? Mm, like one more hour, I think. We're gonna finish this to the hat tier list real quick. Cause this shouldn't take too long. I'm just gonna talk shit about some some hats and it's gonna be done real fast. And then we're gonna play some versus. Black Cat is the only one I care about, true. Okay, Tiger Cub. Well I hate that they nerfed it, but it was definitely it was definitely needed, man. Now we act, but it's a it's definitely a healthier change for the game. It, it it had no sense that it didn't benefit from the level ups. The the way it is now, I think I think it's in a it's in a good spot. The tiger, and yeah, you can use it behind a lot of units, man. Let's see. Kind of sucks that it doesn't help uh, scaling units, but that would be kind of uh, OP as well, I guess. Can even use it behind the. I even used it behind the fly ones. Can use it behind the. Nah, behind Leopard is pretty good. Behind Dolphin I've used it once, I think, but it's, eh, it sucks. They actually don't do that ever. Behind Rooster, if you have a big Rooster, that's pretty much a GG. If you have the level 2 Rooster and level 2 Tiger. Yeah, it's pretty good. Can you just be, can use it behind the well and a deer in front of the well for 4 buses? The quad bus build? Yeah, I like it. It's not that incredible, but... Uh, it's just fun to play. It's just fun to play, I guess, yeah. A minus. Has to go in A minus. Stats are really low as well. And it can get sniped. Really easily. Usually, if you run this, it gets sniped by dolphins, because it usually is the lowest HP unit in your team. Tropical fish? Oh god. I actually don't know what to think about this one. Tropical fish. Chill 3, 2, 4, so stats are okay. 
Enter and give adjacent friends plus one, plus two, plus three HP. Okay, this is one of the more interesting, uh, more interesting, uh, what's it called, abilities. Just because it forces you to really think about your positioning and kind of build a, kind of put you in an awkward spot, honestly. If you play with it, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's definitely interesting and if you run it for a couple rounds, it can be, it's okay. I, if I see it, I usually buy it and only keep it for two rounds, I think. Tropical fish, trash giraffe. Mm, kind of. I guess you would use it on units that actually need the, uh, actually need the uh, HP. Is versus after this? Yes, and after the, and after this. So, that being said, C+. Turkey, best, uh, best unit for the summon team. There's no summon team without a turkey. That summon team is the summon build is not that great though. B plus, but the buffs are super crazy. Turtle, no use in fighting unless you give it a meat bone, but you can use a pill on it and get a permanent melon before it's actually available. B plus, because the thing is the melon doesn't really actually doesn't help you that much until late game hits, right? You would definitely prefer a garlic instead of a melon in the early and mid game and that's for sure well it sucks now because it's tier 4 you get it too late you can't get it to level 2 fast enough c plus i think and the worm the carry of the food build it's pretty good but if you don't get it early you don't have enough uh you don't have enough time to to scale it a a minus Okay, and I guess that's it. Okay, let's make some quick changes. We don't have any units to S+, plus, and I think our strongest units should go into S+. Plus. Maybe go like this. Monkey S. Yo, kill scale with... Uh, oh, shit, with 10 gift subs. Yo, thank you for finishing the tier list, I guess. But thank you for the support, man. I guess, uh, welcome. 10 new members into the Goldie Boys Club. Yo, thank you so much, man. And I guess we're gonna hear this, uh, this alert for uh, for uh, for quite a long time. <laughs> okay, this guy go. This guy goes here. T Rex could go into S. Monkey could go into S. But I don't know. I guess we'll keep it in, in S minus. Kill skill based, indeed. Mm -hmm. This could go into A plus, just cause it's kind of mandatory if you ha if you want a good late game team. We don't have any D plus units. Okay, this could go into C minus. Hey, mm. I think that's it, man. I don't want to change too much stuff. But yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, let's do the let's do the hats real quick. Okay, the the founder hat, right? So if you actually buy this, you support the devs and stuff like that, and it looks cool. It's a kind of a turtle hat. I think this goes into S just because if you buy it, uh, you support the, the devs. Yes, it did. Okay. B way. I like it, but it's too blue, honestly. It doesn't fit. doesn't really fit with that many units. I think this goes in C. Captain Hat, I don't like the fact that it's... Uh... Wait. Oh, shit. I probably... Oh, wait, no. My, my face cam actually covers the... Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. This is one of the only hats that is kind of 2D-ish, right? It's like forward facing and it kind of looks bad. I don't like it and it's too big in game. So I think this should go C again. Fez. Honestly, this is pretty cool, but I never use it. I think it goes in B. Kippy hat. I like it. The train conductor hat, I guess. Mm, give it a B. Nurse hat. Yeah, I don't like it. I, I never even bought it. C. Okay. Bear hat. Honestly, I thought this was a B hat the first time. And this was the first hat I ever bought. Let's go. I think B. I like it. I like it. I, st I, I don't use it anymore, but I like it. Uh, I have no idea what this hat is called, but I don't have it. C. It looks nice. I don't like the whole aesthetic of it, but it's, it's nicely made. Hey, thank you for the 10k bits, man. Came from latest YouTube vid. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Clayton. 
thank you so much for the support man yo party hat okay listen to this this might be this might be one of the most controversial hats <laughs> i'm gonna talk about okay look at this this is definitely the worst looking hat in the game it's so flat it's so 2d but that's the best thing about it man that's the best thing about it it, it just looks so cool I, I love it and the colors on it i i like it hey pilgrim hat honestly i use this a lot just because it's um just because it's a good combo with uh with the scary forest right because they look like little witches i'll give it an a i like it uncle sam hat oh god d straight up d top hat solid b santa hat looks good but uh, i wouldn't use this outside christmas honestly just because the other hats are, are at least as nice as this one so i guess i guess we'll use it on, on b private hat I like the idea of a pirate hat, but I don't like the way it looks. It looks flat. And this one doesn't benefit from looking flat like the like the party hat, I guess. See? Oh, the 1k points hat. Ste the steampunk hat. Honestly, this is the only hat I thought... Uh, I think it would benefit from being animated, man. If the little cogs and stuff like that, this one, the golden one, and the small silver one, that they if they would actually rotate... Uh, it would make for one of the best hats, man. And it would actually be worth the 10k points, the 1k points. But without that, I don't know, I just don't like it. I do like the aesthetic of the steampunk uh, whole thingy, but eh. No, I don't think it's the HC. Poop hat? D. D, yeah, D. Might as well, if you like the poop hat, might as well... Uh, keep for the golden poop hat golden poop hat i like the way it looks and this used to be my dream this what this used to be my goal for uh for sap before i started streaming i wanted to wreck to play until i had enough points to buy the golden poop hat but then when i had enough points everyone already had it and it wasn't special anymore the best thing about this is the fact that it's special honestly because if it was 100 points who would still use this right i don't think uh I don't think that many people will still use it, so see. No hat? Honestly goaded. Fedora? Uh, mm. I don't know what to think about it. I think D. I never even bought it. Ooh. I have no idea what this is called. But uh, I like it. I like I like this hat. B. I like this hat even more just because it's tilted. Cowboy hat, I think. Pretty trash. <laughs> just looks really plain i guess it's, uh winter hat i think i honestly like this one i think it's b oh reverse reverse uh reverse baseball cap i don't like it it makes the it makes the animals look like uh, dishes i think d an elf hat a i like the elf hat okay but there should be more s oh this is s for me uh could could go this it could put, no wait this goes into a i'm tempted to go to put this into d but I'll keep it c just because it's the better variant of this one that is in d already yeah this looks right this looks right this looks right could even place this in a honestly yeah i think i think this is it i think this is it for the heads okay so top hat is s tier yeah i like it but uh We'll keep it in A. And I actually don't have this one. <laughs> okay. Hey, bye, Bryce. Okay, so that's it for the tier list. It took one hour and a half, and I thought it was going to take only one, but it's okay. And thank you, Taller Frog. Actually, friend of mine. 